hey y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome to the story of my testimony or at least a part of my testimony of uh how i was diagnosed with an incurable std um just to let you all know this specific video is only to serve the purpose of sharing the actual scene of events um what happened not any of how uh i experienced it there none of my experiences in here it's only what happened with the diagnosis um just so i can lay the foundation so that the videos after this one will make sense okay um so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started so the year was 2016. i wasn't saved back then um i was kind of just living however i wanted to live so to continue that i fled from my parents home in charlotte north carolina and uh, at the time i was 20 years old about to be 21 and it was march in 2016 and i fled and i went to new york city to go live with my boyfriend at the time um so at this time, you know, moved there for the first two months. Everything was grand, everything was great. Uh, up until, like I said, two months passed and um, I began to feel strange. My body had begun to feel unlike it's felt before. And the only way I can sex successfully describe it is it reminded me of flu-like symptoms except worse <laughs> so my body was very exhausted uh it was extremely weak um achy very sensitive to any kind of sensory anything and i lost my appetite um and so on and so forth it's fever yeah and um a few days passed and I kind of just put those on the back burner but what I could not ignore is what came after that um, so there were no obvious signs of this diagnosis for me up until this part um, of where one day I went to go pee and it hurt to go pee like it felt as if there was vinegar and salt being poured on an open wound and I could not ignore that um, I went to the doctor and the doctor is in you know with a nurse and they're asking me questions as far as my symptoms are concerned what I've been doing recently that could have caused these symptoms uh, and I begin suggesting things out of fear really so the doctor takes a look and uh, he says so casually ever so casually Oh, looks like this could be herpes. But, you know, we're, we're going to take a sample and we'll send it out to the labs and we'll call you back with your results or if you need to come in, you know. He warns me about the sample taking and says that it is going to be uncomfortable. Now, I had experienced uncomfortable um, using the bathroom. So he begins to scrape the area of concern and that was more than uncomfortable before i leave he says that uh he was going to send me home with some medicine and i was very grateful because i was going to beg for that if he did not but um so they send me home because i have to now wait for my test results and i began taking the medicine the next day I get a call from the doctor's office to come in. And so I automatically knew that was not good. So I come in and I don't see the doctor. I actually saw a nurse. This nurse tells me that she has my test results from pretty much all things STD ever. And um, so she begins to read them off. And as she's reading things off, um, I keep hearing negative, negative, negative until we get to the fourth one. And um, so, you know, she goes through the list. She says, I'm making stuff up because I can't remember what the list said, but things like 
chlamydia, gonorrhea, the third thing, herpes. And she says herpes. And she says positive after she says herpes. And then she looks at me waiting for my response. And at this point, I had no response because I had taken that medicine and felt better. I didn't tell you all this part, but the doctor told me, uh, I'm gonna send you home with some medicine and you're gonna take it. And if you take this medicine and it's herpes, then you'll feel better in about three or four days. If you take this medicine and it's not herpes, then you will not feel better but at least we know that you don't have herpes. So the doctor calls me about four or five days after leaving them and I was feeling better. So whenever she told me that I was positive for that, I was just like, okay, that's what that was. So left that day with the confirmation that I had been diagnosed with herpes. So, um, yeah, that's my story about how it happened and what happened. Um, the videos after this are actually to share with you my experience in that trauma for me. Um, and then, of course, the video after is the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> okay, so definitely watch the next ones. I really hope that this was informative um, or in. I don't know that this blessed you in some way that the Lord had his way on me sharing and being transparent in this. Um, so thank you for watching and see y'all later. Bye.